On Friday, June 18th, Michael Verdi, who was better known to professional wrestling fans under his moniker Trent Acid, was found dead in his apartment at the age of 29. Acid made his professional debut at the young age of 14 in May of 1995 and went on to become one of the most well-traveled independent wrestlers in North America. He really stood out as far as like uh, a locker room character. He had a, a, a persona about him that was just really wacky and um, he always brought a smile to my face because he was always doing something ridiculous. Acid was consistently linked with tag partner and close friend Johnny Cashmere, who comprised the Backseat Boys, one of the standout tag team units on the independent circuit over the past decade. Acid spent a number of years working for the Ring of Honor promotion, including a run with Cashmere as the ROH Tag Team Champions. Trent was someone I watched actually early on when I, I got uh, old CZW Best of the Best tapes. Trent was on there as part of the Backseat Boys and uh, even in Ring of Honor, he was a former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion. Acid had his problems, including an arrest this past April for heroin possession and was sent to court-mandated rehab, which he had just been released from prior to his death. Between his look and in-ring ability, he was a talent that many felt would graduate to the next level, but never received the big break. Yeah, at 29, he's such a young man, it's really a tragedy, and uh, I, I just hope that uh, it's a lesson learned for some of the guys and uh, some of the fans, you know, to not, not take life too seriously and to realize that it's short and, you know, just, just live it up. I know deep in his heart that he was a good kid and uh, you know I hate to see somebody pass so early and uh, I know he went through some troubles in his life um, and uh, you know I'm, I'm glad to see at least that that part of the, the journey is over for him and I hope that you know he's in a better place. A memorial show will be held in his honor July the 10th at the arena in Philadelphia to help pay for his funeral costs.